Now we are ready to make the third ball bounce. To do that, I'll bring in either copy of the spin symbol and place it on the canvas. I will right click, duplicate the symbol, call it spin three. Right click, convert to symbol, call this bounce three. Now I will enter bounce three, and then on the timeline around frame 100, press F5 to create frames. Right click to create a motion tween. Begin on the first frame, move the ball to where we want the bounce to start from. Move forward to approximately 25. Move the ball. Move the timeline playhead forward again. Move the ball forward. Move the timeline playhead. Move the ball forward. Move the timeline playhead. Move the ball forward. Now with the V selection tool, I can move the motion path. by hovering right next to it and a curved line appears. To test our motion, scroll with the playhead. The next thing to do is add scale keyframes so we can add squash and stretch. Click on the timeline, right click, insert keyframe, scale. 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 Now, on these central keyframes, I can press Q for free transform, squash, and stretch the ball. Off click on the timeline, select the keyframe in the middle, squash, and stretch the ball. Squash, and stretch the ball. As I scroll through now, we get squashing and stretching. The next thing to do is to split the motion tween so we can more easily add ease. To do this, right click in between the keyframes and split motion. Right click in between the keyframes, split motion. Right click in between the keyframes and split motion. Select the first motion and in your properties panel, make the ease negative 100 so it eases in. On the second motion portion, double click and we will add ease, stop and start, and we'll use slow. Double click to exit. On the third motion portion, we will again add ease, stop and start, slow, double click to exit. So now we have ease as we go through our animation. The last thing we will do is add rotation by double clicking to go one more symbol down. We can see we are in scene one, bounce three, spin three. We need to add frames, so I will click on frame 24. Press F5, right click to create a motion tween. Once we have the motion tween selected, we have new option of rotation. I will say one rotation, and I need to change the direction to counterclockwise. If I press enter, 
to preview, we notice that all this animation is doing is rotating. When I go back out to bounce three, since that is a movie clip, it will play on a loop and rotate as our ball bounces across the screen. I will exit out to scene one, press command enter to preview. Now you can make three different improved versions of a bouncing ball in Adobe Animate CC.